guys, welcome back to another video, and um, today, I'm gonna be playing the 16 personalities, I will, I'm gonna be doing the test of the 16 personalities thing, and um, you'll get to see my personality, actually, since I barely express myself with, you know, the content I made, content I make. Anyways, I'm sleep deprived, anyways. It's so incredible to be finally understood. Only 10 minutes to get it from. Okay. We're just gonna start. You regular? Oh my god. No. <laughs> you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interests. Agree. Seeing other people cry can make you feel like you want to cry too. Girl, no. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Eh. You usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. Oh yeah. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Agree, 100%. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. I'm, I'm just gonna go with a little bit. You are very sentimental. Hold on, let me... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Need to see what that means, I forgot. Okay, so I am a little bit sentimental, so I will do that. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. No, no I do not. Even a small mistake you can, cause, can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. 100%. You feel comfortable just waking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation hmm i barely do that so on the neutral side you are too you are not too invested in discussing various various interpretation interpretations and analysis is of uh, creative works. Um, that one. Because I mainly do art. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. <laughs> A little bit, no. You usually prefer doing just doing anything, just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. 100%. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. <laughs> no, I try to make a good impression, so, um. You enjoy participating in group activities. No. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Oh, maybe. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Yes. Wait, how much are we into this test? I don't know. Anyways, you are interested in so many di so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Uh, yes, 100%. Uh, there we go. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worst. Yep. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Mm, a little bit. You are definitely not an artistic type of person. <laughs> no, I am. Well, I try to be anyways. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rational, rational rationality and uh, less on their feelings. I don't know, so I think I'm just gonna go with neutral. I'm sorry if you think you do or you think you don't. I'm just I I don't know what to say because like I'm sleep deprived and I don't know what to do. Anyways, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Nope. You enjoy watching people argue. A little bit. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Yes. 
Your mood can change very quickly. Oh my goodness, yes. You lose patience when, with people who are not as efficient as you. Anyways, um, I don't know what to think about that, so I'm going to go with neutral. You often end up doing things at the possible last moment, 100%. You have always been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. Oh my goodness, yes. You usually prefer to be around others uh, rather than on your own. <laughs> no. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. Yes. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Yes. You rarely second guess the choices that you've made. No. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. <laughs> no! We're only 60%, dang. It's been six minutes. You enjoy going to art museums. Yes. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. A little bit. You like to have a to-do list for each day. <laughs> no. You rarely fear insecure. No. You avoid making phone calls. A little bit. You often spend a lot of time trying to get time to trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Yes. In your social art circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. A little bit, maybe. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. little bit. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. <laughs> 100% yeah. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Hmm. A little bit. Your emotions control you more than you control them. <laughs> yeah. You take great care not to make people look bad even when it is completely their fault. Maybe. Your personality... Wait, wait, wait. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. A little bit. Well, tiny bit disagree. Anyways, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Yes. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Heck yeah. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical, 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 I can't say it, questions is a waste of time. Ah. Uh, neutral. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres with than quiet, intimate. No, I prefer quiet, intimate places. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. Mm. I'm gonna go with that. Because I mainly don't know how someone's feeling unless they tell me. You often feel... <laughs> yeah. If there was a bigger button, I would choose that. You completely take... You complete things... And methodology? Dolically? Without skipping over any steps. <laughs> no? I skip a lot of steps. Anyways, you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Controversial. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Agree. You struggle with deadlines. <laughs> Agree. You feel confident that things will work out for you. <laughs> no? I am a female. I see results. Alright. Your personality is mediator. 
Mediators are poetic, kind, and altruistic people, always eager to help a good cause. <laughs> I'm 83% introverted. Introverted individuals tend to prefer fewer, yet deep and meaningful, social interactions, and often feel drawn to calmer environments. Intuitive. Uh, intuitive. Intuitive. Individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They value originality and focus on hidden meanings and dis distant possibilities. True, true. Ooh, 59% feeling. Feeling individuals value emotional expression and sensitivity. They place a lot of importance on empathy, social harmony, and cooperation. Prospecting, 79%. Prospecting individuals are very good at improvising and adapting to opportunities. They tend to be flexible, non conformist who value novelty above sta stability. <laughs> yep, I guess. 92% turbulent. Turbulent individuals are self conscious and sensitive to stress. They feel a sense of urgency in their emotions and tend to be success driven, perfectionist, and eager to improve. Anyways, that's that's what I got. Ooh, strengths and weaknesses. Magical relationships. All right. Mediators, INFP, INFPs, are dreamers and idealists, especially when it comes to romance. People with this personality type believe in the power and beauty of true love, and they sincerely hope never to settle for anything less. It's fair to see, fair to say that mediators, mediators, or whatever, approach the world of romance with high expectations. They may have spent years daydreaming about the perfect relationship, imagining how it would feel to share their innermost selves with another person. But the real but the reality of dating can come to can come as something of a shock to me mediators or mediators, forcing them to grapple with a challenge question if they want to be in a relationship. Will they have a, have to compromise on their ideals? Oh my goodness! This is a whole article, and it's correct. <laughs> yep. This is... Ow! Stop fighting me. It is scary accurate. Oh, friendships. Gotta prove this to Millie. When it comes to their social lives, media mediators or... Mediators. INFPs may find themselves caught in a web of contract... 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 contract Contradictions. People with this personality type crave alone time, but they're also vulnerable to loneliness. They long to feel accepted and well liked, but they hate the idea of pretending to be anyone but their authentic selves. And while they hesitate to draw attention to themselves, they don't want to be vis invisible either. The good news is that in the company of true friends, mediators, mediators, can escape the hamster wheel of these insecurities and focus on what really matters. For these personalities, friendship is a precious commo commodity, an opportunity for two people to lift each other up and change each other's lives for the better. Mediators or mediators, I don't care, truly believe in the old saying that a friend is a friend in need is a friend indeed. Few things bolster their sense of purpose, like being there for someone they care about. Perhaps because of their intense investment in these relationships, mediators tend to feel most fulfilled by spending time with a small, intimate circle of friends, acquaintances, acquaintances that may come and go, but this inner circle is likely to include mediators as friends for life. It's true. Anyways, I really hope you liked this video. 
and uh, hit the subscribe, like, uh, just, I'm sorry, uh, comment, well, subscribe, comment, like, hit the notification bell if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.